A man and a woman are behind bars tonight, accused of fleecing tens of thousands of dollars from innocent, vulnerable Sydney-siders. Police have described it as a despicable act and say the alleged scammers are part of an international fraud syndicate deliberately targeting elderly people. Teresa Tushinsky feels like she can't trust anyone. <laughs> devastated, devastated. After misplacing her credit card, she received a phone call on Saturday from someone claiming to be from the Commonwealth Bank. First of all, they were telling me I, they had my details and I just had to correct them. And, they, and I said, yes, that was correct, that was correct. Before she knew it, up to $4,000 disappeared from her account. I just got caught out on on being, you know, being a target of a victim here with in this scheme. Police allege 22-year-old Neha Giri and her 19-year-old boyfriend are behind the scam. It's quite a despicable act, targeting our elderly and vulnerable people. On Monday, detectives caught up with the pair when they targeted another victim, an 85-year-old Tilopia woman who'd had a courier collect $3,000 from her. Police allege the pair are part of an international fraud syndicate targeting elderly Australians and may have been searching through people's mailboxes to gain access to personal banking details. It's a timely reminder, if possible, to lock your letterboxes. The duo, who are both Nepalese nationals, will remain behind bars until their next appearance in August. I don't know who to trust. Who do you trust? Zara James, Nine News. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at 6.